is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again with another episode of wwe action figure appointment i think it's episode 18 if i'm not mistaken we did one not too long ago man it's crazy because i really want to do a surgery but i have to wait on like parts and stuff because i have like some really sick ideas for surgery i just got to wait on the parts to come in and all of that stuff but it's going to be excellent once we get them in here man it's going to be great episodes of surgery and i know you guys are going to be hyped for that but before we get there we do have to do some appointments because uh, I like doing the appointments, man. Some of these things come in my brain randomly. And some of these things I've been waiting to do for a, a long time now. So let's go ahead and dive in, man. As you guys know, this is kind of a, a shorter length version of surgery. But we got some good stuff going on. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Jeff Hardy, Ricochet, Rollins. I hope we can get everything in before the timer runs out. You guys know that we try to get everything in in 12 minutes or less. I think we've only made it like once ever. So hopefully we can actually do that today, guys. But uh, before we dive in, you know, we'd like to run through what what we're gonna do here today so the first thing we're gonna do guys is i actually saw, I saw my man ronald van donald over on instagram he did like a seth rollins fix up where he switched out these kick pads so like this seth rollins this top talents has been on my shelf just chilling and it's headless and it's ugly and i want to do something with it because i already have like my little fantasy fix up version i got my regular version so i think it's time that we do a version that's just kind of random so i'm gonna take these kick pads off and switch them for all black kick pads switch the arms out for all black arms with the srs on there put a head sculpt on it and it's actually pretty fire you guys will see what i'm talking about at the end and you'll understand exactly what i'm going for but i'm going to use these elite 37 kick pads we got a seth rollins smiley face in there and we have the sr arm so we're going to make a really cool fix up hopefully that turns out great and all of those things another thing i thought of i guess i could i could make a separate video on that but i, I have some figures that i'd like to see re-released if you guys would like to see that and like hear my opinions on some re-released figures let me know down in the comment section below as well as, I'll, I'll get into it at the end of the video, but let's move on, guys. Next up, we have our Stone Cold Steve Austin figures. Now, you guys already know about this. I really want these sleeves to be filled out, and I don't even know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. I want to switch out the biceps on these Stone Cold Steve Austin figures with the Elite Cody Rhodes biceps because they're bigger and they look nice. You guys know we did that on a surgery not too long ago, and I want to make that happen. So we are going to switch out those biceps. Hopefully, the Stone Cold Steve Austins turn out great. So we have Seth Rollins. We got our Stone Cold Steve Austins with our big arms and everything. Then we have Rick, Ricochet, and I'm going to switch his boots out for these Eddie Guerrero boots, and I don't know why. I just feel like it would look nice, and we're going to see about that. I had these random Eddie Guerrero Legends boots, and, you know, we could pay some a little homage to uh, Latino Heat himself and give uh, Ricochet some heat on his feet there. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we have a Jeff Hardy fix-up. Now, I'd really like to get another one of these Epic Moments Hardys, one of the best box sets ever, by the way. I'm going to do that in a video as well where we break down the best box sets ever released wwe elite style or wwe mattel box sets but we're gonna take this figure and head swap it with the elite 84 every time i get an elite 84 i like to put the head on a different figure i just like the face paint it matches nice over here i think it'll be badass plus we'll either put this head sculpt over there which i don't think i'll like so i may put the elite 71 over there i think that would look pretty dirty you know what i'm saying then put the shirt on there that could be epic we'll see what it looks like at the end guys but if we want to get this in under 12 minutes we better shut the hell up and dive into this surgery. I know it's an appointment. You don't have to tell me, but let's go ahead and dive in. All right, guys, so I think our first order of business, let's see what all we have to heat up. Now, I know we have to heat up the legs of this Rollins. We have to heat up the arms of the Rollins, too, but I don't think we can do that at this juncture. So we need to go ahead and heat up the kick pads of the Rollins as well. And while we're at it, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and heat up the head sculpt as well because we'll need to pop the head sculpt on there. So that, that should be able to be switched all at once. Now, while that's going on, Something that's probably going to be easier to switch out would probably be hmm, probably the Ricochet boots, I feel like. I feel like that would probably be the, the next easiest thing to switch out so it's not so crazy and hectic and awfulness. So if we put that, no, actually, you know, you got to be strategic. You got to be very strategic about the way you uh, put these things up here because it's not just something you can just throw together and expect it to work. You got to put everything in the beam of light and get it all heated up correctly. That way everything turns out nice and you don't have have to reheat stuff and you don't break things and all of that so there actually is a method to the madness all right this doesn't have to be heated up the seth rollins arms can wait i think the stone cold steve Austin arms can wait as well but the jeff hardy head sculpts hmm i don't know about that one brad i don't know about that one i feel like i want to wait i feel like i want to do hmm you know what we'll go for it we're just gonna go for it let's just go for it we're gonna go for it white trusty hair dryer don't fail me now brad get him in position now let's go ahead and hit it All 
All right, guys, let's see if, uh, if we actually indeed make it work. Oh, God, that's so scary, bro. Every time I do a head swap with these new figures, man, like, look at that. It already bent the neck a little bit. I think it's okay, but it is something that you got to stress about. And that didn't even heat. Are you? I don't like that whatsoever, Brad. I do not like that. We're going to have to heat that up again or something, but that sucks eggs. Okay, but I can put this head over here, though. That is something that we wanted to do, so I can plop that over here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. All right, we'll take a look at that, Jeff, at the end. Now, next up, we do have to plop this top talent's head over here. Did the arms get heated up enough? Yes, they kind of did. Probably should have just heated up those arms to begin with, huh? That's stupid. Anyways, plop these kick pads off that are not... Ugh. All right, that one's heated up. Okay, uh... Hmm, plop this on here. Plop this... Ugh. Over here. Mm. Other side. Mm. Over here. Now we gotta heat the arms up, though. Lord. All right, lower legs for that are there and that, and then the ricochet boots shouldn't be too hard. Should be relatively easy. Switches, swappage, salty. All right, Eddie Guerrero boot. Eddie Guerrero boot. Why will that not go on? That makes no sense to me. That literally makes no sense. Okay, next up, we're gonna have to heat up the Jeff Hardy head. This one again, for some stupid idiot reason. These Rollins arms, and then the Godforsaken Rhodes arms and Stone Cold Steve Austin arms, which I do not look forward to whatsoever, because switching arms is, like switching upper arms and lower arms is just god awful. Wouldn't recommend ever. And we have to pull the shirts off, so that's just excellent. And I gotta take their chains off. It's just a whole deal, Brad. Time limit fading by the second. I don't even know if these shirts are going to be filled out once it's on there because I don't feel like they made the sleeves long enough. Hopefully Mattel, now that we've gotten those Ultimate Editions or the Stone Cold with the, three six, the Austin 316 shirt, maybe they'll make the rest of his shirts too for Mattel Elites. That's what we need because we need 2001 eras of Stone Cold Steve Austin in these t-shirts. God, look at the ink, the ink stainage on these biceps, man. That's the only problem with those shirts. They stain the dog crap out of the figure. Look at that. Luckily, I'm not going to be taking the shirt off, but that's that does suck eggs. All right, not looking forward to this. All right, Brad, that was terrible. Not look, oh God, here we go. Oh my geez, dude. Uh, okay, that one's there. I forgot about these little pieces of ish at the end of the Austin. I don't know why they do that to him. Okay, we got that head scan off. Finally, I didn't even know this one had one of those mini peg holes. Elite 84 head sculpt going on to the epic moments. We'll look at that at the end. You got a little something special going on there, young man. Seth Rollins arms going on to the little fix-up Seth Rollins. And now for the worst part of the day. Switching these biceps. Hmm. This one didn't even get heated up. Ugh. Okay, wow, that actually went on pretty easy somehow. Okay, so I got that one left arm, but this one left arm didn't get heated up for whatever reason. I don't even know how that happened, so I'll just have to cry myself to sleep about that one tonight. Wow, that actually went on there too. How is that even possible? Is this gonna go on here though? Wow, it actually will. Hmm, very, very strange. But that's on there. Now I just gotta put the t-shirt. Okay, so that one's done. That's pretty wicked. I don't know how that works. And now we gotta do the other, but again, the one arm didn't even get heated up, so I guess I'll have to see you guys in a minute. I just need a peg for this one. Just a lot. A lot easier than I expected, which is just not you. The surgery, the surgery, you know, the, the surgery habit or thing that typically happens here. But I'm gonna have to reheat this up, which sucks, and I'm gonna have to reheat this up, which sucks, and probably all this. So I'll see you guys at the end when all of it's taken care of. All right, guys. So here's everything that we covered here today. As you guys can see, you got the ricochet over here. I think the ricochet turned out great. The only thing I don't like about the ricochet is that the pants are a little bit more bronze than gold. You don't really notice it until it's on the figure there. But but I do like the gold and black. I just think that the bronze kind of throws it off just a little bit. But it's still all right. You know, I like the, you know, paying homage to Eddie Guerrero. All of that is pretty nice there. We also have our two Jeff Hardy figures. And I think the Jeff Hardy here turned out really sick. I think if even if you threw in like a bit of yellow or green somewhere in the face paint, like maybe if you outlined the blue and yellow, or if you added some yellow to the forehead or green or something, I think this would really come together really nice. I still like it a lot. Like the blues are pretty damn near perfect. You know, they look really good. I bet they use that same color. I bet in the Mattel process, but it all looks good. I like the way that this Jeff came out. I really like the way this Jeff came out as well with the shirt on there. You know, underneath you do get 
get the tattoo, you get the head sculpt and the pink and everything, and it kind of ties together, you know, all the different colors and stuff, but you can really put any head sculpt on the Elite 84 Jeff, and it's going to look good, so, and I pretty much have other fix-ups as well, right? I already have other fix-ups with that Jeff, so it's not a huge thing for me to, you know, switch that out, get, you know, other things in there and stuff like that, so there is that one. We got the two Jeff fix-ups. We have our Seth Rollins over here, which turned out pretty good. I will say I wish that the wrist gauntlets had yellow on it instead of just the white, but I still like it. You know, it kind of fits like that 2019 style of Rollins, so that's pretty cool there. If you guys wanted to try that one out, you got that one. That head sculpt pretty much fits anyway, but I like the way the black continues on. Then you have your little hints of yellow. That is pretty freaking sweet. I like the way that looks. And then we have our Stone Cold Steve Austin's, which uh, bothers me a little bit because, again, I knew that the sleeves wouldn't be long enough. Like, this one right here looks better to me. This Austin looks better than this one. It's just like the, the shirt sleeves need to be longer, and I don't think they're long enough to make it look the way I want it to. Again, this this one looks better, but this one's kind of throwing me off a little bit because the sleeves are riding up, and I don't really like that. Like, the Ultimate Edition sleeves are absolutely perfect, so I do like that, but that is it for Action Figure Surgery, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode and all of that stuff. Let me know what you think of the fix-ups down in the comments section below. Also, the random shout-out today is going to go to everyone because I'd like for you to go over to my community tab and ask me some questions for an upcoming Q&A video. I'd really appreciate that, so huge shout-out to everybody that goes and leaves me a question on the community tab. Leave me a question for a future q a but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel let me know what you think of everything down on appointment i doubt we beat the clock today but you never know until i plug it into the editing thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like the damn sleeves from the freaking shirt awfulness you cross